All right, uh, this is a this is going to be a help video for answering the questions for uh, the series cir series circuit worksheet number. This is actually worksheet number two. Okay, so I'm going to do some of the problems to show you how to do them, and then you can do the rest of them and fill them out, and then submit them to uh, the series circuit worksheet number two uh, for week number seven. So for example, question number one is asking you to find the total resistance. And it's a series circuit because there's only one pathway for the electrons to flow. So the symbols for this, you've got this right there. And the bottom is, this, I'm, working on, I'm working on question uh, letter A right now. That's a symbol for a battery. This diagonal line is a resistor. Here's resistor number two, and on the right side you have resistor number three. So you have three resistors, and then you're, to you're told in the problem that resistor one is 20 ohms, resistor two is resistor two is 15 ohms, and resistor three is eight ohms. Here are your numbers that you have for the resistors. And the rule for resistance in a series circuit is that resistance adds up. Okay, so we would say resistance adds up. So all you have to do to find the total resistance is just add them up. 20 plus 15 plus 8 equals 20 plus 15 plus 8 Oops, I'll go back that up. It's 43. So the resistance for number one is 43, and we use the unit there as ohms. Uh, for that's how you do resistance, you'll have to do letter B. Number two is we have voltage. Uh, again, this is a series circuit, so you have the voltage for all for these here. You have three voltages, voltage one, voltage two, and voltage three. And the rule for a series circuit is voltage adds up. So you just add up the individual voltages on a series circuit. So you have 9 volt, 4 volt, and 1.5. You just... Show your work, 9 plus 4 plus 1.5. 9 plus 4 is 13. 13 plus 1.5 is 14.5 volts. That's your answer for 2A. Now when we get down to question number 3, we have a table. And this table refers to this picture here on the right. And again, you have three resistors and you have a battery on the bottom illustrated by the two dashed lines. And you, the information that we know is that we have, these are three positions, resistor one, resistor two, resistor three, and then the total is the, the total for all the resistances, the total for the currents, the total for the voltage. So we are given the resistance in the three places. We don't know what the total resistance is. Uh, we don't know anything about the current. We do know the total voltage is nine. We don't know anything about voltage at the three positions. Okay, so we need to figure this out and you need to use the information that you have to figure it out. The first thing you're gonna do, since you know, <coughs> since you know what the, um, what the total resistance is, or excuse me, what the individual resistances are, 5, 10, and 20, 5, 10, and 20, you can calculate the total resistance. We just learned that up above, that the total resistance or that resistance adds up. So all you have to do is to get the total resistance is just add 5 plus 10 plus 20. We'll give the total resistance. 5 plus 10 is 15. 15 plus 20 is 35 ohms. 
So that number, when I get rid of this, goes right here. The total resistance is 35 ohms. Now, what else do we know? Well, we know that there's 9 volts. <clears throat> we know that the voltage adds up, so the voltage of number 1, number 2, and number 3 needs to add up to the total, to the total voltage, but that's not going to help us if we don't know what the other voltages are. Uh, we do know that the rule for current is that current is the same everywhere. So if we fi can find one of the currents, we can find all of the currents. And that's what we're going to do. We are going to use Ohm's Law, which says that voltage equals current times resistance. That's Ohm's Law. We know the total voltage is 9. So we can say 9 volts equals the current, which we don't know, times the total resistance is 35. Okay, now we can solve for the current. If we divide both sides by the number here, with the variable, we get 9 divided by 35 is going to give us the current. So, let's go... 9 divided by 35 gives us 0.257142857. Let's round that off. Three numbers to the right of the decimal point. 0 0.257. 0 0.257. Let me get rid of this here. 0.257. That's a 2 right there. Okay. Now remember what I said on a series circuit on a series circuit current is the same. So Sorry, I current Could you current the is the same everywhere. So this is 0 0.257 this is 0 0.257 and this is 0 0.257. I think Siri is trying, thinking I'm talking to her because I said Siri circuit. So the current is the same everywhere, 0.257. And it's a little messy there, but all of these numbers in the middle in here are 0.257. Those are, these are your answers that you're going to actually submit for this assignment. Now we can also use, now we can also use uh, Ohm's law to calculate the voltage. Again, because voltage equals current times resistance. So for position 1, right here, we're going to look for voltage equals current, voltage equals current, 0.257, times the resistance in this case is 5. Point two five seven times five equals one point two eight five. Let's round that to one point two nine. So that's going to be one point two nine. Okay. The second position is in this position here. The current or the voltage equals. Voltage equals current times resistance, 0.257 times 10. And this one up here was 1.29. <coughs> 0 0.257 times 10, excuse me, 0.257 times 10. 2.57 and then the third position there voltage equals 0.257 is the current times the resistance in that one is 20.
5.257 times 20. 5.14. Five point one four. Oops. There we go. Sorry about that. Five point one four. Filling that out. Now these, if, again, we just talked about this on the previous, is that on a series circuit, of all the voltages add up. So we have 1.29, 2.57, and 5.14. And those should all add up to the total voltage, which is 9 volts. So let's add them up just to make sure that our numbers are right. They don't have to be exactly equal to... to uh, 9 because depends how I round it off, but let's just add up the numbers I have 1.29 plus the other one was 2.57 plus the third position was 5.14 and actually and it gives us the right answer 9 So that's the right way to do that We get all of these added up here Equal 9 and that's how you do these. You guys are going to do question number four. You guys are going to do question, let's see, I did number two, B, A. You're going to be do two B, and you're going to do one B. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions.